Stomach aches, headaches, and racing heart rates. Kids at one campus in the Las Vegas City School District say it's happening to them, and even some adults have complained of feeling ill. So what's making them all so sick? Today, News 13 Selena Westervelt went to the district to get some answers. It's happening at Memorial Middle School in Las Vegas, and we got calls from parents and staff concerned about illnesses and a funny smell. Now we sat down with the school's principal and the superintendent to find out what's going on. Students hard at work today at Memorial Middle School in Las Vegas, but last week was a different story. The school was evacuated Friday after district officials worried something was very wrong. We've had some recent uh, reports of a gas-like smell. Um, some staff members have indicated that they've uh, had a headache. Uh, most recently, we've had a couple of students who've noticed the smell as well. Kendra has come home with headaches and stomach aches and a lot of allergy symptoms. So being that we've been so dry, that's what I thought was going on. After the evacuation, Kathy Duran suspected her seventh grade daughter's symptoms were much more, especially when her daughter called her saying she was sick again yesterday. Then she noticed something else. There was probably five kids that have been signed out and probably three or four of those kids were with headache or stomach ache. So there's definitely something going on. Just after that, the school was evacuated once more. School officials are now trying to pinpoint the source of the odor. They've called in government experts to help check for leaks and check every pipe. In that pressure test, because we raised the level of pressure, we were able to identify a couple of small leaks. They were fixed along with a broken sewer cap, but some students are still complaining and the superintendent is still investigating. We're taking this very seriously and um, right now we're at a point where uh, we can assure that it's safe to be in our buildings. The superintendent says the school underwent an air quality control test in the spring. It did detect mold, but nothing else. She says that they replaced the ceiling tiles, some drywall, and the shrubs to get rid of the mold, and that the school will undergo a second air quality control test in about two weeks. In Santa Fe, Selena Westervelt, KRQE News 13. Engineers were rechecking the heating system at the school today. The superintendent says the smell could also be from construction on a new student health center.